Okay then gang, so now we have a path object to represent an absolute path to this character's folder, which we created using the path class from the pathlib library. And now we can use that absolute path to open files within that directory. So what I'd like to do after we create the characters folder right here is then update the path variable to be an actual file path and not just a path to a directory. And that's going to point to a file inside that characters directory. So I'm going to take the path and I'm going to set it equal to the current value of path and then add a forward slash and then a file name called zelda.txt. And now we have a path to an actual file, which doesn't yet exist. But remember, if we try to open a file in write mode that doesn't yet exist, then Python creates it for us. So now we have that path, we could use the open function we saw before, and we could pass the absolute path in as an argument to open that file. So let's do that. I'm going to say that file is equal to open, and I'm going to invoke that function. Now, as a first argument, we pass in the path that we want to open. Now before we used a relative path by just referencing the file name and that would open the file relative to where the script was run. But now we have an absolute path up here. So we can pass that path in as the first argument. And then as a second argument, we can say W to open this in write mode. So this is how we opened a file before. We used the built-in open function, passed in a file path as the first argument and the mode as the second. But when we create a path object, like this variable is, we actually get access to the open method on that path object directly. So instead of this, we could just replace that with path, which is our variable, and then use the open method on that and invoke it. And inside this, we just pass in a single argument this time, which is the mode, so W for now, so we can write to it. And we don't need the path itself as an argument because we're using the open method directly on that path. So it already knows about that path. And I think this approach is a little bit more readable and easier to write. So then this opens the file and now we have a reference to the file and we can write to it. So let's do that next. So on the next line, I'm gonna say file.write, much like we've seen before to write to a file. And we're gonna write a string, which is Ganon. Ganon is a character from the Legend of Zelda series. So now hopefully we should open the file using that path and create the file because it doesn't exist already and then write this string to the file. Let's run this and find out. And yeah, we can see that file now, Ganon, awesome. All right, so now I'd like to append to the file. So we'll change this to an A to append. Then we'll do a new line, so backslash N and then link. So now we should see Ganon and then link when we run this because we're appending to it now. Run the file and we see Ganon and link, awesome. All right, so that's how we can write to and append to the file. Now let's try reading the file. So then to do this, instead of append mode, we need a read mode and we don't need the write method anymore. Instead, we want to say content is equal to file.read and we're going to read the content and then print it to the terminal. All right, so let's run this and see if it works. And yeah, we can see that content is printed to the terminal, awesome. So this all works. So just again, we can use the open method directly on a path object that we create. In write mode or append mode, it creates that file as well. In read mode, it won't. It will cause an error if the file doesn't exist. Okay, so we need to close the file at the end. So let's say file.close right there. Now, there's one more thing I wanna show you, or rather two more things, and they are convenience methods for writing and reading a file. So we can actually access methods directly on this path object to do this. So I could say path.write underscore text, and that text is gonna be a string epona. So if I run this now, it should write this to this file. And we don't have to manually open the file first, it does it for us. So let's run this and go to the file and we can see epona. Now remember, because we're opening the file under the hood in write mode, it truncates the file, so it deletes the current content. And that's why we only see Epona. Now there's also a convenience method for reading the file. So to do that, I could say content is now equal to path, which is the path object dot read underscore text, and that should be Epona. 
And then we're going to print that to the terminal. So print content. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll comment out all of this stuff as well. So it's not getting in the way. All right. So remember the content is currently a pona. That's what we should see down here. Run the file. And yeah, we see a pona. Awesome. So just two nice little convenience methods we can use directly on the path object without manually opening the file.